hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how to export a html table to a pdf document using uh, js pdf library inside angular so you can see that on your screen this is a demo application we will be building here so this is a simple table which has three columns name age country and two rows and we have a button called as generate pdf so basically if i hit this button and if i click this button you will see a pdf file will be downloaded as a attachment sample.pdf if i open this you will see all the styles will be preserved all the css styles you can see i have applied a background color to each of the rows here you will see table data and it is reflected back inside the pdf document so this is a nice thing about this application you can apply any of the css styles and it will be preserved and we will be building this using a client library called as JSPDF. You can search for this library. So this is a client side JavaScript PDF generation library. And if you want the full source code regarding this tutorial, I have written a complete blog post step by step where I have given all the source code in the video description. So you can just check the video description and download all the source code. And now let's get started guys, how to build this application. It is very easy. So first of all guys, just uh, open your command line and uh, make sure that you have angular command line installed and then you need to type this command ng new and then followed by your project name. I have already created a project here, you will see. Let me delete all the code here and start from scratch. So let me also delete this code here. So so as you can see that guys this is a sample project here so just make a new project ng new angular project and then you need to install jspdf library so just install npm i jspdf so in, just execute this command and it will hardly take 5 to 10 seconds and it will install this library inside your angular application after installation guys you can start your application by ng serve so it will start this application at port number 4200 so it, it will take some time and it will start the application so you will see we are here inside our app.component.ts file nothing is there it is currently empty and first of all guys we need to uh, write some markup because currently our file is empty if i open localhost 4200 if i refresh it nothing will be there so just go to app.component.html file and we need to write something here so we can just make a div which will have the id content and inside this div guys we will be having a simple table and inside this we have a table head tag and inside this we will have a table heading which will be name age and uh, let's suppose country you can have uh, as, as many columns as you want customized table and after that guys we will have the table body tag and inside this we will have a table row table data and here we will provide the information and age we can just say 24 and uh, country we can say this and then we will have another row similar to this we will have uh, smith 23 and uh, Australia so this you can repeat it two more times so simply I will copy this and paste it so just change the names to Hopkins and uh, let's suppose I change this country to Portugal and here we can change the name to Tom and this country will be Sweden so now basically guys if you open your you can see this is a table here name age country we are not using any sort of third party framework bootstrap or anything it's just a vanilla Java HTML table which contains four rows and three columns and now basically guys inside app.component.css you can customize this also you can target the table data tags and you can just apply a background color let's suppose I choose this color uh, I choose this color 
so basically you will see now it will contain this background color and uh, some CSS is applied so basically now we will have a simple button so button will say that uh, generate PDF and we will bind it on click so whenever you click this button we will have this function executed which is simply uh, the function name will be make PDF like this make PDF so now we need to make this function guys uh, and also we need to attach a simple handler add the hash symbol and then we can give it any name of your choice let's suppose I give it as content so that we can target it in angular application so now we will move on to the app.component.ts file here we will write the business logic of the application in order to generate a PDF document so right here guys we will just uh, target get the element that we want to get we will use the add the red symbol view child and it will you can see automatically view child is exported imported from this angular core library and inside this guys what we need to do is that we need to pass the ID that we have given to the element dev element you will see we have given this hash symbol content and we are passing this ID here which we have given so this is a very basic way by which you can get the elements put a comma and inside this this takes a curly brackets and here it contains a object which is static static value will be false and uh, after that guys what we need to do is that we will put an element here we need to uh, make it in the same line so just put it in the same line static false and after that guys what we have we have we got the element element not sign and then we will say colon symbol and then we will say element ref so now it will automatically get imported from this library so this is a line that you need to write basically it is doing essentially it is targeting this element it is getting the reference to this element that we have given inside app.component.html this is kind of a syntax in, in angular you need to follow the syntax of angular this is we are getting the reference of this uh, content variable where the table is present and now after that we need to make use of jspdf library in order to convert this to a pdf document so we have binded a function here inside this button element so we will see make pdf so we need to make this function so we will make this function make pdf and inside this function guys what we need to do is that we need to create a new pdf document so we will use the call the new instance of jspdf so you will see automatically visual studio code imported this jspdf library from jspdf so write this line at the very top and after that guys we will use the pdf.html method in order to convert the html to pdfs so we will say this dot element dot native element that's it and after that put a comma and then it takes the set of parameters and here we got the callback function and inside this we will have this pdf document so we will say we will save this pdf document by the save method so pdf dot save and here we will give it a name such that sample dot pdf so you can give any name of your choice so now the application is complete guys so now we can test this application if I click this button you will see a sample.pdf file will be generated and now you will see all the CSS styles are preserved and we are able to generate a PDF document inside Angular 13 of a table. You can change this background color to any color of your choice. Let's suppose I change this to any color I choose, a, this color. So once again if you refresh it, click generate PDF, you will see and you can target multiple elements let's suppose you want to have a table row as well uh, background color uh, let's suppose I change this to purple this color and now you can see the table row is also changed background color so now you will see so this is a very awesome application that guys all the source code of this application will be there inside video description make sure that you do this and let's suppose you want to change uh, the content here inside div here let's suppose we target this content and here we need to change the background color let's suppose background color 
and we change this color to red that's it so basically what will happen now you will see this color will be changed to red if you generate PDF now you will see the red P the red color will also be preserved so you can style it any anything as you want if you are preparing a resume in PDF document you can style this as anything and then you can convert it to a PDF document so this is a very easy way by which you can do it using JS PDF library so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video